And the thing is that you can just sort of with a post apocalyptic thing that you can really make something like especially going out in the middle of nowhere. The first example comes to mind is uh, Mad Max, the original one with George Miller. Like okay, yeah, oh. yeah he had a bigger budget because because he worked as um oh, what was it? Either a paramedic or an intensivist. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, he, he got well paid for that, so he saved a lot for it. But he also used that experience into making the uh, the wounds from car accidents look really realistic. And a lot of like the first film and the second film, it was shot in the middle of nowhere. It was shot in a desert. All right, we weren't going to shoot in a desert. We don't have one, sadly. No. Couldn't I, afford one. No, no, no. I mean, it nearest we have is quarries, but then again, Doctor Who sort of... Uh, uh, Showing that like quarries can be a bit overused sometimes, but yeah. um, like you're shooting in the desert, you don't need to CG like dilapidated buildings and that. The desert's already there. Yeah. The desert is there. Like the outback is just no one's going to be there. And to be honest, if you're living alone in the outback mm. and all all the nukes drop, you're not going to notice. They didn't. Um, they didn't have uh, permission to film on the roads for Mad Max. Oh wow! <laughs> and but because Australia is so big. You might get one car coming every three days, right? So what they do, they just block the roads. Without any permission to do that, right? They, they block the roads and just did the filming. What council's going to show up and go, Nah, mate, you can't be doing that. I don't know what kind of Australian accent that was. But my point being, fake it till you make it. And I, I realise I might have just encouraged you to go out and do illegal stuff. And if you've gone done out, done that, I'm not responsible, right? 